right guys, welcome back to the channel. Tom is back. Indeed. Finally. <laughs> and you haven't played 40k since, uh, since our first game? Yeah. Yeah. This is my second game of 40k. <laughs> so he's, he's still not going to know his army? No, I still haven't bought the index. <laughs> <laughs> so of course he is going to be using mine. And it's going to be a classic matchup of Harlequins versus Grey Knights. Yes, this should be a bit more interesting, I think. Um, a lot of vehicles, I know vehicles are nasty in this edition and they were quite easy for us to deal with in the last game to play with, but now I'm like... It, it's fine, it's Harlequin vehicles, they, they die pretty quick. Good. Apart from the four bin one. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's 2,200 points. Yep. We haven't decided on the mission yet. Nope. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah, so, let, let's start stopping things. Tom has a librarian! A librarian, a librarian, a librarian. <sighs> oh. Right guys, so this is 2,200 points of Harlequins. I am running a battalion. I'm also running a Vanguard detachment, a spearhead and an outrider. Because I've got five HQs. Uh, three elites, three heavies, three fast and three troops. So let's have Okay, so heading up the battalion, I've got three units of Harlequin troop, all armed WYSIWYG. So in this squad, we've got a pair of neural disruptors, a kiss, two caress, and two standard with blades. On these ones, we've got a couple of kiss and a pair of fusion uh, pistols. And then in the last squad at this side, we've got uh, a few kiss, a couple of caress, and a couple of fusion pistols as well. Two HQs for this detachment will be the two troop masters here, both armed with a kiss and a shuriken pistol. The one on the dice is the warlord, and his warlord trait is tenacious survivor, so he ignores any damage on a six. Uh, I've then got an outrider detachment, and the outrider detachment consists of fast attack ones. So we've got uh, the one of the shadow seas here. We'll say the one with the uh, blue hood. Her psychic power will be Mirror of Mind, and then we've got three units of two Skyweavers, uh, all armed with Zephyr Glaives and Shuriken Cannons. We've then got a Spearhead Detachment, which will have uh, the Purple Hooded Shadow Seer in it, and the Spearheaded Detachment will have the three uh, Void Weavers that you see at the back, all with Prismatic Cannons and two Shuriken Cannons. And her power will be Twilight Pathways. And then the last one, uh, we've got the final Shadow Seer here who also has Twilight Pathways. Uh, and she's running the Vanguard Detachment, which consists of three Death Jesters and the Solitaire. So all in all, that comes to 2,200 points. And that's a total of nine command points. All right, and this is my Imperium Detachment for today. We have Drago with the plus one leadership bubble for his warlord trait. He's also gonna have Purge Soul and Gate of Infinity. He's alongside a librarian with a storm shield and force staff, which is also gonna have Purge Soul and Gate of Infinity. There was two assassins, there was a Kalidus and an Eversaw. We have a bit of a difference today, two units of paladins rather than terminators. Um, all of them with swords and there's two side, side cannons, sorry, there's a side cannon in each squad, sorry. And then we have 15 interceptors. It's one 10 man squad and one five man squad. My usual loadout, so there's three incinerators there, the rest of them have got um, force falchions. Then the three dread knights at the back, all of them have the teleporters just in case. Uh, the Nemesis Greatsword, the heavy incinerator, and the heavy side cannon. And that is a spearhead detachment. So I have four command points in total. Ooh, and the Paladins, the Interceptors will have Hammerhand, and the Dread Knights will have Gate of Infinity. Right guys, so here we go after deployment. Today's mission is Spoils of War, where you can steal the Secure Objective X numbered cards. Now Tom won the roll-off, so he placed the first objective. So we've got objective marker six, we've got objective marker two, 
an objective marker four. Number three, uh, number five, and under there is number one. Yeah. So uh, I managed to choose the um, deployment type, and it's Vanguard. I like Vanguard deployment. I don't know about you. I like all the deployments really. I don't say that. But you haven't ones. really played the new ones. There is the yeah. I've Some of the new ones look cool. What? Ball lake to set up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one with the circle. So, uh, as expected, because I have a massive amount of stuff to deploy, um, Tom is going to be going first. But he's got two interceptors. They are interceptors, aren't they? Yeah. Because I have interceptors now, Tom. Yeah. But they are different interceptors. They're cooler. No. They're very nice. No. Mine have gravis armor. Yeah, but they're not silver. No, they're red, which is better. Isn't whatever it does not make them go faster. <laughs> it does no matter what you think, they do not go faster. So Tom's also put the two dread knights here, the li librarian, <laughs> and uh, the other interceptor squad in reserve. He's got the two units of paladins, Drago, the third dread knight, and of course the two assassins, which I don't like the Kalidus because she can infiltrate three plus d6 away, so potentially four inches. Yeah, and rain of chaos. Yes, Tom's just looked at that, which means if I choose to use a command point in the first battle round, in the first battle round on a 4 plus, it costs me an extra one. On a 1, 2, or 3, I lose the command point. No. That's what you said. Not on the 1, 2, or 3. It's if you don't, if you choose not to spend the extra command point, you ah. lose the ones you've already spent. Fair enough, fair enough. So, I basically tried to put things at the back here to stop Tom from dropping in behind me. Ooh, uh. <laughs> so we've got one of the troop squads here with the Shadow Seer in, we've got the other troop squad here, and the Warlord one is here. We've got the three units of bikers surrounded by the Shadow Seers for their buff. Uh, we've got the Death Jesters there, and then we've got each of the Void Weavers spread out as well. And we've also got somebody else in hiding, but I'm not going to tell you where he is. Uh, so yeah, Tom is going first unless I seize the initiative. And of course, I really want to do this. I hope you do. I believe in you, Harry. It's a four. Come on, boy. Well, it's not six enough. Oh, it's a five. Just for the... No, I did that was terrible. Okay, so I'm down to eight command points already, and Tom's going first. Right, so Green Eye turn one, Tom has drew supremacy. Mission critical objective, he needs to control objective number six, as that's what he rolled. Blood and guts kill something in the assault fit. So Tom was going to push the librarian out, I think, onto this objective, but unfortunately he only rolled a one for his run, so he's left them there to secure objective one. The interceptors though did get a four-inch run, which Tom used the command point reroll for, uh, as he also rolled a one. He wanted to make sure he got objective six. That also helps him towards supremacy. The dread knights have edged forward ever so slightly. And both squads of interceptors have pushed up here. The squad on the right hand side though, one guy is just out the front to secure objective marker five. And that was almost it for movement, apart from Tom decided to bring the Kalidus Assassin in. And the Kalidus Assassin deploys three plus more than three plus d6 inches away. And Tom rolled a six. And because he'd already used his reroll for the movement phase, couldn't use it. Uh, so basically she was going to be more than nine inches away from any unit which meant she couldn't shoot them and Tom when he measured could actually get in that back corner but when he realized the range of the gun was only nine he's elected to put the colorless down here instead so that is it for movement let's move on to psych right to so psych first Tom I'm casting one psychic power right which is I'm going to use Give Infinity on him. Okay. Casting value? Six. Uh, he gets it on 11 and I can't attempt to stop it, which means you now get to redeploy. Nine inches. Yeah. Okay, so shooting phase. Tom is likely to shoot nearly all of the Storm Bolters into these two bikers. Yep. So, 14 shots. Yep. Oh, there you go. Nice. <coughs> Hitting on fours. Mm-hmm. Why? Because jet bikes ah. are hard to hit. That's not good. Not good. Nope. So I'm toughness four, you're strength four. Yep. So However, there's a shadow seer there. 
which means you're at minus one to wound me. So you wound me on fives. Five. Uh, four. Four wounds. That's not bad. You could still kill one. Four being vulnerable. And look at that! You kill a bike. Woohoo! Have you got three wounds like? Yep. Oh. So not quite first blood, but there you go. Right, so next up shooting. Tom is going to use the incinerator at the Star Weaver, and he's going to use the side cannon at the Void Weaver. So which one's first? Did the incinerator first, so D6? Yep. Four? Yep. Lovely. Automatically hit. Oh, yes. What's strength? Uh, the strength is seven. So I'm talking as five, so threes. Sorry, no, it's not at six, sorry. Threes. Threes. So that is three, four. Fail one, so it drops me to five wounds. Two. Two damage, Two damage. so four. And, and then, then. Heavy side cannon. Yep. How many shots is this? Six shots. Uh, it's heavy, so I've. You've moved. moved. So that's four. And I'm also hard to hit. Five. So that's two. two. Yep. Strength seven, so threes. Yep. Reroll that one. Two, four plus. Fail one is two damage. It is two damage, yes. So that one is also down to four wounds. I'm, I'm sure they've only got six. We'll double check that in a second, though. What about this Dread Knight? Uh, he's only in range of that. Um, the Void Weaver? Void Weaver, yeah. Yep, so six shots for the heavy side cannon yep. as well. Uh, you moved. Yes, I did. I'm also hard to hit. Fives. Two hits. Two hits. Threes. Threes. Just the one. And I fail it. So that's two damage on that one as well. So that's two wounds on three of me big vehicles. However, Tom can now declare charges. So. I want to quickly measure what, which one of these two is closer. Well, um, they'll both be nine inches. Because you're deployed. No, that one's, I think that one's slightly further away. Right. Um, when you fight on the other side of a barricade, you only have to get one inch of the barricade, don't you? Yes. So that would be actually shorter. Okay, so Tom is now moving into the assault phase after wounding three of the vehicles so far. He's electing the charge against this Star Weaver down here. Now he is uh, nine and a half inches away and this is accounting for going around the barricade as well. But I do get overwatch with a couple of Sheraton cannons. And I don't get anything. So Tom needing a nine. Come on. Oh, oh, and he makes it. Oh, dear. Uh, so, is this the only charge you're making? It's the only charge I can make. Okay, so how many attacks do you get? I get four attacks, and I am hitting on threes. And I'm hitting the dice. And that is three hits. Yep. You are toughness five. And I am strength 12. Okay. So twos. Yep. Just a re that? Yeah, go for it. Right, so that's three. three. Four plus. I'll reroll that one. So two go through, what's the damage? D6. D6. Two D6 times, so. So. I that's one Star Weaver. Yep. So, uh, do I blow up? Nope. However, there is six guys inside of that. So don't roll any ones. Roll all the ones. Hmm. I'm going to use a command point. So they're all fine. And with that, the Void uh, Star Weaver even is removed. And those guys have leapt out at that side. So Tom does score Blood and Guts for killing something in the Assault phase. He scores Supremacy because he controls one, two, three objectives. And Mission Critical Objective was number six. And First Blood. So he's definitely got three plus D3 for supremacy. Three. Wonderful, six points instantly. Let's move into Harlequin's turn one. Right, so Harlequin's turn one, we drew mission critical objective, the same as what Tom got, and I have to control objective marker three. I need to defend objective marker two for two turns, and then I drew priority orders received, defend objective six. Uh, and I'm thinking about discarding this one. So I'm going to spend two command points to get rid of this one. Man and of chaos! Yep, so four plus it cost me three points. Points to note, I did forget to do it the earlier one, but since I've forgotten, I'm not asked. Okay. No. No, so I can just discard it for the two points. And draw area denial. No enemy units within uh, nine inches of the centre of the board. 
Okay, so movement phase. The troop master and the squad have leapt out at this side. We're going to hopefully direct the fusion pistols back over into this dread knight and then hopefully take out the Kalidus as well. This troop squad and the shadow seer at this side are hopefully going to be able to do a little bit of damage as well. And of course, we've got the void weavers here that haven't moved, um, which will hopefully do some damage with the prismatic cannons. This star weaver has leapt forward to secure me uh, objective three, hopefully. Uh, and the squad inside of this star weaver have just edged forward far enough to get within range of these guys. And of course, the lone biker, uh, I didn't mention it, but we didn't need to take a morale check because he would have automatically passed with only losing one model. Uh, the Death Jesters at this side have shuffled round apart from this guy here actually, which I need to move up. Uh, this Shadow Seer moved and ran, and these guys have only moved just far enough uh, so that they're still within three inches of that Shadow Seer there. These guys also moved and advanced with Blur of Colour, getting them a 22 inch move, Tom. And they can still fire and still charge. Uh, the Void Weaver back there has also stayed still. So, going into Psychic Phase, uh, we're going to use Twilight Pathways from this Shadow Seer onto these bikes, and it allows me to move again. Uh, and that's casting value 8. How far off the beat of the night again? Uh, within 24. Ooh. So, any of these guys can attempt to stop it. Can the librarian? If the librarian is within, is within the, the psycho or the unit's been cast on? Uh, the psycho. So he That's can't. Yes, no. The Dread Knight here. Sure. I'm going to use a command point to reroll this. Okay. Oh. And I'm going to use me Rain of Chaos, which works. So you can either pay an extra command point or you can lose it. What, lose the command point? No, you either pay. The extra command point, or you lose your, you should have lost your rerolls. I should have done that before you rolled it, really. You're not going to pay for um, it. Um, right, I was trying to get a hold of my dice before Harry managed to roll. So, I rolled a 4 plus for Rain of Chaos. Harry had already rolled his dice. Um, basically, he can either choose to spend an extra command point to have his reroll, or he loses the command point he's already spent and not get his reroll. So how do you want to handle that? You can either let you reroll it again if you want to spend the extra command point. So what, what we're saying, that that I didn't do the reroll. Yeah, we'll just cut as you didn't do the reroll. Right. I'm... So basically, yeah. I've got that. If I want to do the reroll, I have to use two command points. Yeah, and if you don't, you have already lost one anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll reroll. Really? Oh. Right. Okay, are you going to attempt to deny then? Yes, I will. Uh... Are we will that, yeah? Yeah. So that's a six, so you don't stop it? No. Right, so it does go off after all that. Please to God, remind me before that next time. Yeah, that is confusing as hell. Turn, though, so it's only first. Right, so Tom's just informed me I've only got three command points left. Yeah. Out of nine. Because... Want to reward the season initiative? Yeah. One was to reward dice on my turn. Can't remember what it was on. It was rolling the one on the transport. Yep. Two for your... Um, your Discard card. the card. Yep. And, and then, then that counts as two. Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, this better be worth it. I'm going to move. Right, so next up we're going to have Smite, and she's going to end up hitting this unit, because this is the closest unit. So I'll get it on a 6. Who's casting that, sorry? The Shadows here. Oh, that one over there? Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's with the unit you're hitting. Okay. You don't stop it because you have to beat us, so yep. it's D3 mortal wounds for 3. So it kills 3 marines from this squad. I'll take... Them two. Yep. And that one. Okay, next up, this one is going to attempt smite. Depending on who is within 18 inches, and I suspect nobody. Nope. Which means she will use Mirror of Minds and she's going to use it on the Dread Knight. So 
So it's casting value of seven. Eight, just two. Or eight rather, sorry. Uh, Mirror of Minds, we each roll a dice. If I equal or beat you, you take a mortal wound, and we keep rolling until you beat me. <laughs> That's great. Or you're dead. But it's not as bad as what it was before, because before it used to add your leadership, and I would have you at minus five leadership. Ooh. So your Dread Knight can attempt to stop it, or this squad here can attempt to stop it. Where's your other Psycho at? Here. I'll use the squad down here then. Okay. So you're needing a ten. Ten. Fair enough. Uh, and then this one down here will use Smite on that Dread Knight. And she gets it on a nine. Try the nine. Nope. So D3 mortal wounds on the Dread Knight. For two. Okay, so first up, these Skyweavers are going to shoot the Librarian because he is the closest unit. I did advance some money hitting on fours now. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, I'm strength six, your toughness four, so I'm winning you on threes. So that's one wound, and then this one is at minus three. So that one would need your three up in Vunkus of the Storm Shield. Yep. Four, yeah. And then a normal two up. Right. Nope, oh, takes a wound. Yep. I was going to shoot into the unit of two interceptors, hitting on threes. Two hits, wounding on threes. Uh, that's only one wound, so one three up. Which he makes. So as a result of that, uh, this Star Weaver is then going to shoot into them two. Both uh, shooting cannons are going to go for it. So hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. So there is uh, three at minus three AP. So three six ups and then one three up. Well, then to a dead. Yep. So next up, the Void Weaver is going to shoot into the Interceptor squad here. Everything from this uh, is going into it. So the Prismatic Cannon and the Shuriken Cannons. Oh, you're nasty. Yep. But for the Void Weaver, I'm going to use the Dispersed mode, which is heavy D6. And because I didn't move, I get the full whack. One shot. Lovely. So you don't want to spend a command point? No. Haven't I already done that? On the shooting phase. Anyway, threes. Oh, look, that one missed. Uh, so then I'm wounding on threes. So that's three. Uh, you're not entirely in the cover, so it's just your three up. Yeah. And uh, no, I lose two. Yep. So I'll take the two that are out of cover. Okay. So then next up as a result of that, them two bikers will shoot them three guys. This time I will get the cover. You will. But I'm hitting on threes and then wounding on threes. So that is four two ups. I lose one. Yep. I'll take him. Okay, so next up, the Death Jesters are going to go into the Interceptor squad here at the front. So we'll start with the guy uh, with the blue hood, just behind the barricade. So I'm hitting on twos with the Death Jester, I believe. Yep. So one miss. Wounding on threes. That's two two ups because you are within an inch of the barricade. Oh, well rent. Yes. And then the next Death Jester. Uh, one miss. Looking for threes. Two wounds. And then the last Death Jester, uh, all hit, two wounds. Fine. Well, that's not so good. Okay, so this Void Weaver is going to be shooting straight across at the Dread Knight. It is just within range. I'm going to use the single shot Lance version of the um, Prismatic Cannon as well. So everything hit on threes. Ooh, not good. So these, the white dice need fours, this needs a three. Uh, so that one is AP minus three, and then them two are just your normal two ups. So two, no, two normal two ups first, it's fine, and AP minus three, did you see it? Yeah. So that'll be five? Yeah. Everyone? Why do I always manage to cock dice? On a board. Wait, no, so it takes, takes one wound. And then the next Void Weaver is going to do exactly the same thing. So two misses there, fishing for fours and threes. That is two wrens. Um, no, I'm, I'm not going to use the reroll. So just two five ups. Uh, it's one six and a three, so he's lost two wounds so far. 
Yep, plus the mortal wounds from earlier. Yeah, so he's done it yet. Yep. Okay, so next up we're going to have the guys down here shoot. We've got two neuro disruptors uh, and three shirt and pistols. So hitting on threes, all hit. Looking for sixes. Oh no, fives for the white, sixes for them because the neuro disruptors only strength three. Nice. So it's shuriken. So them two uh, at AP minus three. Yep, do that first. So we're for five ups. No, that's two wounds. Yep. Uh, that one is a two up. Yep. Yep. And then this one is minus three, but it's D3 damage. So you take your five up in run first, nope. which you fail, and it does D3 damage. Yep. For three. three. Oh, so it's five. Yeah. So he's down to three wounds, Harry. Oh no! Okay, so lastly at this side we've got the hallucinogen grenade launcher shooting the Dread Knight. And a miss. Yay. But what I'm now going to do is down here, I need to declare this first. So I think what I'll do is the two fusion pistols are going to shoot the Dread Knight Ooh. and all three shooting pistols are also going to shoot the Dread Knight as well. So the red ones will be the fusion pistols. At least it's a rend. Yeah. Nope, so it's down to two wounds now. Yep. And then uh, a single shot and pistol shot at her. That's a five, so it hits. She's toughness four, strength four. That's one wound. Four plus. Yep. Cool. And finally, this Star Weaver is going to shoot into these guys here. So we're hitting on threes. That's all hit. Fishing for threes, sixes. Nice! So that's three at AP minus three and one. So one two up and three five up. Do I get the cover from there? Well, I'm going to see you out because I'm on that side of the barricade. Like You're within an inch and it's yeah, it's crossing. So we'll five to them and then, and then two. two for that. Do the two plus first. <laughs> Yay! So you make one, so, so that's three, three guys, guys dead. I will take them three. Leave the incinerator there and the just a car. Okay, so troop squad is going for the dread knight, so overwatch. I'll go with the incinerator first. Yeah. D6. Two. Strength six, so twos, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Two, two wounds, two four pluses. Kills one. Yeah. Two damage each, so oh, just kills, kills one. One wound, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. So there's a guy there that's got no upgrades, we'll kill him off. And then six shots from the heavy side cannon. That's two hits. Ouch. And then two's to wound again. That is two wounds. Four plus. Fine. Lovely charge distance. Uh, so nine, I'll make it in. And then the shadow C will charge in straight after. So she'll make it in as well. Uh, and then next up, we're gonna have the troop squad here. It's going to charge the Kalidus. Yep, so what? Nope. So charge. Six is going to get her in. Yep. These are coming around there. And then the True Master is going to go in as well. He'll make it in as well. So they'll make it around there. Right. We've also got this biker is going to charge uh, this unit of interceptors here. Right, so four shots. Oh, no, sorry, not four shots. Oh, yeah, sorry, four shots from the uh, one guy, because we've got five, two now, remember? Yeah. Nope. And, and then, then D6, D6 from the incinerator. Oh! Ooh. It is only one damage, this one, though. Okay. What's your toughness? Four. So, threes. And that is five. You could kill us. Wow, you do. Oh, fantastic. Not for me. No, but that's that's really bad. That's, that's really really bad. Really 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 bad. Moving swiftly on. Yeah. So these are gonna charge him, and he's gonna Overwatch with a storm shield. Three inches. I'm gonna hazard guess that's enough. Yep. You only have to get within half an inch, and then these guys down here are gonna charge them. And I actually realised I need eight shots for these because again that would fight too many. Remember that. That's really good. And I got hit. 
Yeah. And I'm failed to wound. Okay. Charge range. <clears throat> Great. Harry, I might have brought you seeing me a little bit. It's fine. Kalilis isn't dead yet, is she? No, she's not. Dun, dun, dun! No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no. 50 50 chance? No. Because that'll cost us two point points. It's just 50 50 chance. Of all no, I'm not, not doing it. No. Okay. I may have accidentally annoyed Harry. Um, upon deciding to finally read what a Nemesis Force stuff does, it gives you, there's an extra rule, it gives you an, uh, a 5 up invun if you don't have one or add one to your invun save in the fight phase and he's got a storm shield so he's got 2 up invun in combat Which um, means I would never have sent them there Yeah, I apologise So in that case I'm going down here with all of the troop Can I interrupt you before you start? Did you have to nope. do the first one? Nope, I have to do the first one So uh, I'll work out their attacks and come back here Fantastic Okay, so I'm going to go with these guys because of that stupid 2 in run. And uh, we're going to have three guys attacking with the kisses first. So that means I've got 12 attacks. Hitting on threes. And then I'm wounding on fours because I'm strength four. But because the troop master is within six inches, I can re-roll. Lovely. So please take uh, seven invulnerable saves. It's minus one, which obviously two invulnerable. Seven bolts. Um, that is one, two, three, four, five wounds. I do believe she's dead. Okay, but it's five D three. She's dead. Well, dead. Three, dead. six, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve wounds on her. Oh. That's that's because of no she reasons. Ex no, she explodes and does. No, she doesn't. D twelve damage to everything within six inches of her. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, she games. Workshop games. I'm annoyed as like hell with that library. <laughs> I'm not, I'm quite proud of him. I'm not. Do you want to try and murder him? Yes. So, I've got six attacks with the Sky Weavers, hitting on threes. Uh, I am strength four, so I'm winning you on fours. And oh look, it's minus one. Oh look, two up in one. Uh, oh, he takes a wound. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't just take two wounds. Oh. Two damage each. Ah, oh, in that case, he is dead. Because, he, because he took a wound from the shirt and cannons. Yes, he did. Woohoo! Um, however, I'm going to use one of my dice to re roll one of them. Okay. So, Which will drop you two command points. Yep. And on a four plus, uh, it costs you double. No. Only applies to you. Oh. Which is not any more because she's dead. <laughs> Which at least means I, I get to re. Like, you, you can't do any more shenanigan crap to us. <laughs> it only lasts the first turn anyway. <laughs> Right, <laughs> down here. So what have we got? We've got a couple of caresses and a kiss. So we'll do the kiss first. So I hit you on threes. So I hit twice. And then wounding you, uh, strength force only fives. Nothing. Uh, I've then got eight attacks from the caress. Hitting on threes. Uh, I'm strength 5 for the caress, so I'll wound you on 5s. Uh, so that's 2, and I believe the caress is AP minus 2. Uh. Yep, uh, indeed. Uh, caress is minus 2, yeah. So, faults. Dead. Hey. No, he's not, no, he's not, so he's got one wound left. No, he was, all, he was on 2. Yes, sorry, no, right, yes. And now he's dead. Now he is dead. Yay! I've got to move it down again, sorry. So, three attacks back, hitting on threes. Yep. And two hits. So, plus two strength, that makes him strength six, so threes. Yep, toughness four. So, that's two wounds, two forbs. Pass them. Great. So, the only thing that we need to do for morale, because I lost one troop in the squad over there, uh, means I'll automatically pass, but these guys lost three. But the Just Cause Leadership nine, isn't he? Or is it eight? Mm, I do believe it's nine, but I'm gonna to have to double check that because again, because if he's eight, then you can die and basically lose another model on six. Which I'm, oh, I'm. He's leadership eight in the squad seven. Ah, right. So come on, please fail the morale check. I, I would very much like you to do so. Just get a reroll. Oh. And these guys down here lost three. Same again. 
and they're fine as well. So what points do I score? I score, basically, score objective three, and I don't get area, oh, I might have to re-measure area denial, but I think those two guys are within range. you do get it, if I remember rightly, but we'll check. So no, these two guys are within nine inches of the center, which means I don't score that. I score a grand total of one victory point, Tom. One victory point. And my word, I had to work for that. Too fair, you've killed a fair bit. Well, I also don't like this Eldar trickery that you did on us over here. <laughs> to be fair. I also don't like the fact that you killed this guy here on Overwatch. Okay. I also don't like... I'm, I'm feeling very bitter right now because the whole... The, <laughs> I know that, this. that whole command point thing from her is... Excuse me language, it's bullshit. Well, it's because she used to have reserve manipulation and you can't really do that anymore, so... No. What do you use for that? Uh, I'm not going to discard any cards because I think I can probably score the two that I've got. So let's move into Grey Knight's turn two. Ooh. Okay, so Grey Knight's turn two. I have drawn overwhelming firepower. Hope you're going to get that. Secure object five. Definitely going to get that. Psychological warfare. I think that's going to be quite difficult against Harlequin, so I might discard that. But either way, in the movement. Okay, so... I've done my movement and I've done my deep striking. So I've deep striked in these paladins down here. I have also deep striked in a dread knight over here. Some terminators and sorry, paladins and Drago. These guys have just shuffled around to get objective five for myself. These guys have come over here to try and beat these two up. Um, not very hopeful, but there wasn't a lot else I could think to do with them, so worth a try. And uh, Operation C of the Librarian is, in it, is a go, so I hope he can squish them too. But, in psychic. First things I'm going to do is cast Purge Soul on the Blue Death Jester from Drago. So it is a Warp Child value of 5. And I get it off with a 7. Okay, Shadow Seer over there will attempt to stop it. 7, which means I don't stop it because I have to beat you. Right, so we both need to roll a dice and add our leadership. So I got six, and my leadership's ten. Yours is nine, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm on sixteen, and you're on twelve, so you suffer four more wounds. Please tell me you're joking. No. That's horrible. Yeah. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> you're supposed to be my mate. I am. I'm not his mate. But you didn't even do anything? <laughs> and then you sh held our shenanigans with your library. Well, he's not going to get the chance to now, is he? <laughs> oh. <sighs> and just for the giggles, what's um, the cast value of Smite? Five. <laughs> I'm going to cast Smite on him from Drago. <laughs> Can't. Smite has to hit the nearest unit. Oh. Which one's the nearest unit then? Probably that. Well, in that case, Drago's going to cast Smite on that. Okay. But this is Grey Knight Smite, isn't it? Yeah, so just one more word. Okay. Off. So doesn't go doesn't off. go off. The um, terminators. I'll do the same thing against it. Yep. The peril. Um, I've never done perils in this yet, so I think the power doesn't go off. Is that on a double one? No, it's double six as well. I think. And you take mortal wounds, so we'll double check that. We'll check that now. Okay, so I suffer D three mortal wounds. Yeah. The power still goes off. The power still goes off because I, you haven't killed the last model in your own unit. And there's fifteen of them there, and I can't kill them with D three. Do you want to roll it? Do you want the satisfaction of potentially killing the first pardon I've ever used ever? No, no. So two mortal wounds on there. Yes, and it's one mortal wound on your guy, uh, which is this guy. So that drops down to five. Yes. The, the reason it's only one mortal wound though is because of the Grey Knight one. Yeah. Rather than D6, which it would have been. Does Dread Knight going to do it against this one? Yeah. Actually, he's not. He's going to have to do it against. Is that the Troop Master? Okay, so it's the nearest visible unit. So, 5 plus to cast. And. Well, we won't back, obviously. So that was 7. Yeah. Uh, which means I will have this Shadow Seer attempt to deny it. Nope. Nope, so loses a, loses a wound. So that one drops to three wounds. Is that it for Psychic or? No, these Paladins down here will cast. Um, your strength three and yeah. I will cast Hammerhand on these actually. Six, sorry. Goes off a nine. Yep. That is me. Oh, no, it's not. 
This unit over here will cast Purge Soul on the two baggers. Haven't you already done Purge Soul? No, Purge Soul, um, it's Mike, sorry. Okay. Goes off with a seven. Yeah. So they take one mortal wound? Yes. And I'll destroy the terrain, and that's payback for your Librarian Eldar shenanigans. Speaking of Librarian, he's going to do the same on these baggers. Yeah. Goes off with a seven. But this is D3. Yes, it is D3, because he's the Librarian from the Space Marine. But by being Grey Knight, his smite then becomes it does one. No, it doesn't change. So, D3. It's the one. Yeah, there's a section in the front of the Grey Knight that doesn't mention that he gets the Grey Knight. It's, it's, he also doesn't it's get the demon. like a thousand times. Yeah, he also doesn't get the demon hunter stuff. The Dread Knight will do the same. Yeah. And that goes off with five. Yeah. And that's me for Psychic. Okay, so all these are going to shoot into this troop squad here. Yeah, but all the Storm Bolters are. The side Cannon is going to fire at the, um, the Star Waver. Star Waver, sorry. Okay. So the Storm Bolters first, hitting on threes. And then wounding on threes. I'm just going to take that. Yeah. Four plus invulnerable. One, two, three, four, five. Troop dead? Yep. Mint. And then um, four shots of my side cannon. I've moved, so it's only hitting on fours against the Star Weaver. Yep. Uh, you're also now hitting on fives because it's hard ah, to yes. hit because of the Mine. Mirage launches. Nothing. It doesn't hit. Okay, so everything from the Dread Knight is going for this Star Weaver. So what? Dead. Yep. Right, so I'll do the incinerator first. So D6, three, and it'll be wounding on threes. So that's three. And I've got four being vulnerable. You can do. And I only pass one. Is it two, two damage? damage? So it's left on one. Yeah, and then you've got the side cannon. Yep, and um, it moved, so that'll be fours and then fives because it's hard to hit. Yep. Yeah. Um, one hit. One. Ooh. Um, I need to check the range of Drago's bubble. Uh, I believe it's six and you're outside of six inches, so you wouldn't be able to re-roll them failed hits. Um, yes, you're right. So just the one. Just the one. Uh, threes. No. Um, I will... Can I fire the side cannon? And then let to fire the storm bolt the guys inside if it doesn't... No. You have to choose the entire the squad now. now. Drago's Storm Baller. <laughs> okay. Well, at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, he's within yep. 12, so he gets four shots. Hitting on twos, we won't hit. Yep. Yep. And then it will be, what did you talk about? Uh, your twos miss. Because I'm hard to hit. Oh, how many twos did I roll? One, I think. I'll be roll because I... So that misses. Okay, so three. Yep. Uh, what did I say? Five. So... Four, five, sorry, five. No. Um, this guy at the back. Two shots? Yep. Where, where's the incinerator going? It's not. Okay. It's not in range of another. Okay. So one, one hit. hit. Doesn't work. Doesn't wound. Damn. Um, no, where in the Oh, that's a shame. So is the entire squad going at that? No, definitely okay. not. Um, the entire squad is probably just out 12 inches of all of them. So I will fire the side cannon at the Star Weaver yep. and I will fire the rest at the... What's up there? Shadow Seer. Shadow Seer. No, you won't. Why? Because she's a character. I'm going to shoot the closest units. Yeah. Uh, um, so that means I've got to shoot that really, haven't I? Mm-hmm. I'll fire the rest of the Storm Bolters at that one then. So side cannon at the one, wound one, and then Storm Bolters into the one that's on three wounds. Yep. Yep. So I have got eight shots, because I've got to fire two for them. Okay. So um, they, these are the Storm Bolters first then? Yeah, the Storm Bolters. Okay. So... 
it would be threes. No, nope. fours. fours. Um, we won't know. Well, actually, no, because uh, the three counts as a hit, so therefore you don't re roll that, you only re roll the twos and the ones, then you apply the modifier after. So that I don't get a re roll that? No, you don't. So I get a re roll, I get a re roll them. Yes. Not that one because it's a four. That's so five and five stones. That'd be three wounds. And that would be three. And that's a death. It is. Does it explode though? Well, it's not going to do anything because it's not nothing in range anyway. But there we go, there's another one dead. And then the side cannon from the squad's going at the yep. one, so it'd be five, should it say, doesn't it? Because it moved, and then minus one. Yes. But you, so, you don't get to reroll the fours, because they hit. Uh, that's abysmal. Yep, and I'd, some people agree with that, some people don't, but GW have said that that is the correct way to do it. Uh, it was even on Warhammer TV. That's annoying. <laughs> Well, I agree. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the two stun bolts down there. Yep. Yeah. So I am going to get the grand total of eight shots. From you are. That's horrible when I think about it. Uh, so force to hit. Yep. Yeah. Better than nothing. <laughs> or maybe it's not better than nothing because I got nothing. Um, he can't fight them because they're not in combat. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think that is everything. I do believe. No, 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 it's not. They ever saw. Oh, I man. Forget. I did forget to say about him in the movement phase as well, because he's all the way at the back. Right, so what's happening with him? He is going to fire his executioner pistol into this character. No, he's not. Because it's the closest. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's he's not. He's nine inches away from it, and he's just over nine inches away from the other one. Okay, so the Solitaire is exactly 9.1 inches away, as is the Void Weaver, so Tom gets to choose to shoot the Solitaire. Yes! No. So, what are you hitting on? I'm hitting on twos. Okay, and what does this pistol do? It is strength four, minus AP one, and it's damage one, and reroll wounds against all infantry models. Okay, so that's four hits. And you are toughness. Three. Three. So, three's rerolling. Looks like I'm going to really need that three's rerolling. <laughs> Do. So three, three, three up. I fail one, so I take one wound. Ooh, three big ones. Yep. Nasty. He's always had it. No, I'm saying nasty. Yeah. At right. least he's got more wounds now, though. It's not like a two of big blood on a librarian. Yeah, I know that's stupid, that isn't it? It's great. No, it's not. <laughs> right. What's next? Um, it's people like you, Tom, who break the game. <laughs> by accident, apparently. Um. Well, I suppose it's a soul phaser. Yep, what's happening then? The Eversaw's going to charge you. Then the person just shot. The Solitaire. Solitaire, yeah. Okay. So 3d6? Yep. Mm, so only 10? No, 9. 9. Yes. Maybe within an inch. And you get 10. Okay. Have you got any Overwatch? No. Nope. Okay, so that's in. Yep. The Terminators will try and charge that troop. Okay. So Sharon Pistol misses. Eight inches isn't enough. No. The Paladins will try and charge the Star Weaver. Okay. Wow. Needing a nine. Nope. Uh, the two grenades down there will charge the bikes. Okay, so six shots on Overwatch. Uh, three hits. Wow, that's three wounds, but one is minus three AP. So I'll do the two normal ones first? Yep. Yep. And then it's a uh, six up the other one. Yep. One dies. I'll leave it just to cover life. Okay. And then charge range. He's in. Yep. Bottom. Is that everything? Nope, oh, let's go charge these. Okay. He's well and truly in. Don't be so aggressive with your dice I'm rolls. Try. People comment on I get excited. I'm sure he's on two wounds, Tom. No, it's my twice. All right. Right. So, what's going first? Um, I suppose it's not really a lot going, is it? It's only these two combats on here. Um, the single grenade first. Okay. So three attacks. 
Hit on threes, I presume. Yeah. Do um, you get your plus one in combat? No. Do my ones like it. Um, and then that will be. Oh, what's your. Toughness? Four. So fours. So one. Fail it. D3. Yep. Two. Two kills that one guy. Down here, the Dread Knight. Nope. I'm going to use two command points and interrupt. Okay. So you've got one left? Hmm? So you got one left? I do. So I'm going to try and kill the Librarian. Nah, the Librarian has to die. Wow. Two wounds. Yes! Oh! Eat it! Because even if you re-roll, you're still dead. Yep. Jesus Christ, get the crap out of me out of there. Oh. That was worth the two command points. <laughs> yeah, it's almost worth not bringing the nine in the first time. Oh, Phil. <laughs> Getting sore spots. Alright. Carry on into normal? Yeah. Yep, so. Hitting on. Was it twos or threes? Come on! Oh, That's a miss anyway. Strength? Strength of 12. So twos. So two. Four plus and vulnerable. Sixes. You should have done them separately because the first one would kill him and if you'd rolled low enough the second one would have might not have killed him. I don't think it matters. It did matter. But it doesn't matter. In this instance it doesn't. <laughs> but it was still worth it to kill the librarian. <clears throat> so they bye bye. Well the episodes made it in down here. Yep, so I've got eight attacks hitting on twos. Yep. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, itchy head, sorry. And then your toughness? Three. Three. I'm strength five, so threes. Yep, we won. Yep, so five wounds. Just one damage a piece. Yeah. Three on. Takes one more wound. And then he will attack back. But he's got eight attacks, Tom. Ooh. Okay, so the solitaire now swinging back, hitting on twos. Ooh. Wounding on fours, because the kiss is strength four. Please take five invulnerables. Oh, that's good, because you can't die. Do you want to bet? How many damage are they each? D3 each. Ah, uh, then you can die. Uh, he's dead. Three. Oh wait, no, how many wounds does he have? Six. He's got six? Yeah. So I'm going to use my last command point. Oh wait, I can't because I've already used command points in... So that's five wounds on him. He's definitely got six wounds. Definitely, it says there, I've got the page next to us. Okay. So he's on one wound. And last one for me, down here, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Uh, and he's dead because it's two damage. Oh no, he's not, sorry, it's minus two. You get a five up. Now he's dead. So, what points do you score, Tom? Um, did I actually kill some? I killed the unit in the shooting phase. Which was the Star Weaver. Yep, so, over on firepower, I yep. also skewed objective five. Yep. And you haven't got any morale tests to take, do you? No. However, I will discard that card. Okay. So, that puts you at seven points. No, it puts me eight. Ah, to my one. However, just before we go into Harlequin's turn two, I score Defend Objective two for two points because I've held it for two turns now. So I get two new cards. Okay, so Harlequin's turn two, we've got No Prisoners, Area Denial, and Assassinate, Kill a Character. Right, so movement, the Solitaire, as expected, was pulled out of combat with the Eversaw. Um, I don't know whether to charge in, but it depends on how the rest of the shooting phase goes. I'm going to fire this Void Weaver at last. This one hasn't moved. This one had to move, unfortunately, to get within range. And what I've done is I've pulled the troop and the uh, troop master this way to try and take out this Dread Knight with fight, support fire from the Void Weaver over here. The Shadow Seers are converging in because they know there's a disturbance in the warp because some guy turned up who's got like warp dust all over his top lip. <laughs> moving his eyes erratically. <laughs> yeah. Trying to trying to track the elves as they like yeah. darting like Legolas and like. Pew, 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 pew. 
Yeah. Uh, the lone biker, of course, has come this way to try and take out these two. If he can kill them in the shooting phase, he's going to try and charge in here. The lone star weaver left on one wound is probably going to try and absorb the overwatch. And then, of course, all the death jesters are going to be pouring into... I wonder who! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do they get to ignore the character rule thing as well? Yeah, because of the snipers. Yeah. Much like your Vindicare. But that's good. Not quite. No, because it doesn't do mortal wounds on six, it's just AP minus three. So, for that though, we need to go into the psychic phase. So, uh, she's going to smite first. So the smite would obviously hit uh, the terminator unit here. <coughs> so that's a nine. Who's attempting to stop it? The pardons. Okay. Nope. Nope, so D3. Yeah. For two, and these do spill over because the mortal wounds. So it kills him and wounds the next one. The so normal wounds not spill over. Normal wounds wouldn't spill over, but mortal normal wounds do. do. Yep. So next up, this Shadow Seer down here is gonna cast Smite and it's gonna hit this Dread Knight. Then Dread Pardons within 12 then. These? Yeah. Why do they need to be within 12? I've heard it's all right. It's 24. Plus 24. Yes. Yeah, okay, so she's going to try and cast Smite on the Dread Knight. She gets it on a 7. Dread Knight. Nope. Nope. So D3 mortal wounds on the Dread Knight. For 2, I'll take that. She will then attempt to cast, um, what do you call it, Pathways. Twilight oh. Pathways. Cast that, what's that doing again? Oh, that's the one where you can Let's just move a unit. 7. I get it on an 8. Dread Knight will deny. And uh, she's cast not on this troop unit, by the way. Okay. And he does. Fair enough. Which leaves her. She's going to smite. Against. Well, it's the nearest unit. Yeah. So she gets it on a 6. Who's yeah. stopping this? There you go. Okay. 7. He stops it. I'm then going to use Mirror of Minds. But I am going to target the Terminator unit. Oh no, I'm not. Because Drago's Warlord trait is plus one leadership. Yes. Which makes no difference. Because they're leadership 10. But it makes no difference. Because I'm not counting your leadership for anything. It's not like what it used to be. <laughs> so I'm going to target the Dread Knight. Cast value 8, and I get it off. Um, Can Drago attempt to stop too? I do believe so, but it's not there in range as well. Have they not attempted to stop yet? No. Okay, so. No one goes off. So what we do is we roll a dice. Yep. And if I equal or beat you, the Dread Knight takes a mortal wound. Okay. Ha! Oh. And then we roll again. Okay. That's two. Two. So you take two mortal wounds as a result of that. He's done it yet. That wasn't bad. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been. Could have been a lot worse. Right, I'm going to go straight into the shooting phase now. So, three shooting cannons, two hits, looking for threes. That's one at AP minus three and one normal three up. To AP minus three, one first, that's a six. Nope, and then a three up. Leaves one guy left. Now, because I got the troop Actually, out. No. I'm gonna change the mind if you want. <laughs> In case I charge. Yeah. <laughs> So the flip belts allow these guys to ignore models, which is why I basically leapt over Tom. So I disembarked the three inches, then leapt over. So it does mean that these guys can shoot Drago now. So what have we got here, Tom? We actually have two fusion pistols. Yeah. Uh, do I want to use my last reroll? I'm gonna do it. And I hit. So I'm strength eight. And that's two wounds on Drago's invuln, which I believe is a three up because of his storm shield. Yes, it is. So two three ups, please. Seven wounds. One goes through. Gonna be wallet. With a command point. Yeah, I don't want that. Yes. Damn. Oh well. And three shot and um, pistol shots. Uh, so they all hit. Looking for fours. Uh, so that's two. It's P. None. Okay. 
be fine. Yep. And then a shirt and pistol from the troop master will shoot at the incinerator guy. Oh. Hits. And that's an AP minus three. Where's the troop master? Can I ask? Here. Uh, you know, you're not behind it from him. Ah, uh, fair enough. He died anyway. Bang. I'll take that. Right, this is where it's now gonna get oh. testy. So, hallucinogen grenade launcher from her at these sort of misses, and then the other troop, uh, shall I say, will do the same. Hits. So, what I do is I roll two dice yep. compared to your leadership. So, what is the leadership of the paladins? 10 because I got plus one because of Drago there. Doesn't do anything. Then I'm going to have the Star Weaver shoot into the Paladins. Wow. Wow. Mm hmm. Now I'm going to have to do this one at a time, but it's really not going to make a difference. Hmm. Do I target Drago with the Death Jesters? Or do I go for... Let's do them all at the time. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the star, uh, the Void Weaver, but I'm going to have a look at the firing modes first. Right, so I'm going to go with the star, the Void Weaver first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the uh, Shuriken Cannons first, and I'm going to use the Heavy D3 version of the Prismatic Cannon at them. So that sucks. So that's just one wound, Tom. Uh, any AP? Nope. You're doing it again. Yeah, I knew it would stop it. What's the kind of dramatic as that? <laughs> right, prismatic cannon, heavy D3. One shot. Misses. Of course. Right, now the star wave. Have I shot that star wave here? Yeah. Right. It did a fail. Mm. That's another dice going walkies. Oh no, you stop throwing your dice so radically. <laughs> I'm going to pour all three of the Death Jesters into your Terminators. Uh, Twos. All hit. Threes, fishing for sixes. One six. The, what the hell? <clears throat> Nine dice, right, Phil? Two of them are three or more. <laughs> right, so one two up, please, and then one five up. Which one do you want first? Makes no difference. Two up. Fails. Roll the one. Five up. Fails it. So it kills one more turn there. Just one down the other. Yeah, just one each. Pardon. Oh, good God. I don't like this. Oh, look, Harry, I found a dice on the floor. Is it yours? Yeah. Oh, look, Harry, I found a dice on the floor. Is it yours? Yeah. So, next up, anyway. Uh, we're gonna have. Moving swiftly on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have the two few, uh, neuro disruptors at this guy. I'll take about the worth of 10 points. So, uh, one hit, sixes. Nope. Three shuriken pistols. Two hits. Uh, no wounds. Uh, True Master shuriken pistol. Hits. Then that's a rend, so five up in one. Damn. Uh, and hallucinogen grenade launcher from that shadow seer. Out of three shots, one of them hits. Is that what are we doing? Oh, but you can't even have command points left. I don't care. What was that? I've got nine command points. I've got yeah, but it's because of you and your cheesy assassin. Anyway, he's going to do the single fire shot into him and then the Sheraton cannons all into this dread knight as well. So. Uh, that's strength eight, so I need threes on that, and I need fours on this. Okay. So, three two-ups. Yes. And then this one's AP minus four. Ooh. So, five of in one. Do Dread Knights have a five of in one? Yes, they do. Okay. No. D6 damage. Mm. Four. Fair enough. Knocks him down to four. Funnily enough. I like these dice, but I also hate them because it's hard to find the numbers on them. Hmm. I'm 
going to do exactly the same with this void weaver. That one missed. You'd be pleased to know. Yeah. Uh, so there is two two ups, please. Yeah. Cool. And I believe that is all of my shooting. So charges, solitaire will go in. Against. The Eversaw. He makes it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch first. Oh, yeah. I also get using my full ballistic skill. What? Oh, crap. I wish I'd shot him now. So that's four hits? Yeah. That is. Three wounds. How many wounds has he got left? Three, I believe, isn't it? Well, I really, you know what, I even said I, I was I was going to shoot one shirt and cannon back and I really wish I had. Uh, you know what it is, for your sake, I wish I had as well. For your sake. But for God's sake, this is now horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not apologising. I know. Right. Charges. Yeah, carry yeah. on with them. The defeated Harris <laughs> right now. Oh. Void Star Weaver is going to charge the Terminators. Right, I'll do my watch first, yeah? Mm hmm. So, yep. side cannon. I also get a reroll because of Drago. One hit. And toughness. It's like three to wound or something, isn't it? Wounds. Do I explode? No, so that's that removed. I'll then charge with that Shadow Sea with the blue hood. This is the case if you only get one overwatch. Nope. So I can redo it. Yep. That's horrible. Especially when you kill stuff on overwatch, Tom. Yes, it is. So I've got eight Storm Boulders shots and then two, then four side kind of shots. So I get a rewalk for the dribble. So there's three hits already. Five hits. Why do you get five hits on sixes and I can't even get like three hits out of eight dice? And that would be five wounds as well. Oh my good god. Well at least she's alive. Uh Psychana. For the minute then. Four shots. <sighs> Two to wound. Two wounds. Two damage each. Well at least she survives charge distance. Six should make it in. It's less than six, isn't it? How many wounds you got control? Five. One storm bolt and one side cannon. Three wounds. She took two wounds and storm bolts. She didn't. She had four. There we go, six would make it in. This bike is now going to charge Drago and that squad. Drago? Yep. Nothing. Five inches? Should be enough. Six inches in total, isn't it? Five and a half inches, so he would make it. Then, Troop Master, he makes it. And then the Troop will charge both. How many command points you got left? Uh, one. And just for the lols, that shadow sea is going to go into that. Seven inches. She. What? Sorry. Shadow sea is going to charge into them. Okay. Yep. She makes it with a seven. Alrighty. Troop squad. It's going to charge the dread knight. Okay, so D6 from the heavy incinerator? Yep. 
Four? Yep. Um, he's not within six of thingy either, Dribble. I don't think. Just for the side cap. Oh, oh, right. And that would be... Three? Three, two damage. So, so two die. Oh, crap. Hmm. How many is that from that squad? Two. Very psychic on him. Oh god. Twos. So two wounds. One more dies. Oh my god. And that's a fail. Troop Master will charge now. D6. One. One. Fine. Every side count? Nothing. Five will make it. And then I'll try a long bomb with the Shadow Seer. Seven, probably not enough. No. And you've got one command point, you said. Mm -hmm. So you can't interrupt us. Right. I need to count some dice. Right, so just remembering there that the minus one to wound aura for being within six of the Shadow Seer. Thomas very kindly let me put that back as one of his two wound rolls from the side cannon on the Dread Knight was a two. And we check the film. And we check the film, yes. So, I'm going to go first. Um, and see what we can do. So, uh, it makes no difference because all of this is going first, isn't it? Yeah, it's just before you. So the bike is going to go against Drago. So two hits. Wounding on fours, rerolling because the troop master's there. That's two. Minus two. So three up in run. Yep. Nope. Two damage. We got the five. Next up, we will have the troop master. Troop master has five attacks with his kiss. And we got the bar there. Yep. So I hit on twos. So all here. I'm wounding on fours with the kiss. But you hit him, Drago. Yep. But I re-roll because I'm within six inches of myself. Are you though? Yes, and they are all, I believe, minus one or two, so it's your three up in one. Have you measured? Have I measured what? <laughs> Are you within six inches of yourself? Of course I am. <laughs> Five three ups. Two. Two. What damage does it do? D three. Four. Plus the two that I've done, that's six. Has he got seven wounds? Seven wounds. Okay. I'm going to have a look at the Shadow Seer next then. I can't be woolly because I already used it earlier this time. Okay, so next up will be the Shadow Seer. Hopefully she can take Drago out. And that's three hits. Strength five, needing threes. Rerolling because of the uh, Troop Master. So that's three. It's minus one. So three ups. And he makes it. Right, this is where I need to be very careful because I need to kill the Terminators as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how well she does first. So three attacks, two hits, wounding on threes. Rerolling because of the Troop Master. So just the one at minus one. Uh, so three up. For D3. For two wounds on one of the Terminators. So... We've got two kisses and two caress that can attack Drago. That is on the non paragon one, I do believe. So this will be. Uh, if I don't kill him, you're going to kill me, Warlord. Which one's your Warlord? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the two kiss on this side are going to go against him. Everything else is going to go at the Terminators. And I'm going to regret this. See, told you. There's a Drago. Yep. So three, three up in runs. Going to be all that one. For your last command point. Yep. Oh, see? Knew I would regret it. Uh, and then we've got the caress. In fact, she can't actually hit the Terminators. 
So one caress at the uh, Drago. Uh, caress is strength five. Threes. Rerolling because of the Troop Master. Uh, so that's two. I think the crest was minus one or two. Threes. Threes, but it's only one damage. So one more wound. Dead. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just. Yeah. Uh, and then the other crest at the other Terminators. Uh, so only two hits. Uh, Reroll the wound because of the Troop Master. So that is two wounds minus one. Um, okay, so twos. Oh, no, my one three, sorry. Which you pass. And then I've got one more kiss from this guy at this side has to attack them. So all hit. Uh, fours, re-rolling. Uh, minus one or two, I think the kiss was. Oh, I can't remember what you said it was. Uh, the kiss is only minus one, it's d threes. <laughs> oh. Well, one will kill that one off from one moon anyway. Yep, and then d3 for the last one. Two. Okay. Uh, I want to go on the slack hand guy. Okay. Ugh. He's got 13 wounds left. But I've still got this troop master against your Dread Knight. Please tell me the troop master hits on twos. He does. I'm wounding you on fives because I'm only strength four. But I reroll. Two, and it is minus one. Three. Fine. Cool. So I get to swap you back. How many wounds is the Dreadnought? Four, I do believe. Yep, he is on four wounds, so he's probably only hitting on fives now. Something horrible like that, probably like a, a, a half an attack or something. I think he's got, what, is it two attacks now? He's on the second one, so he's weapon skill, though still weapon skill three plus with three attacks. So his weapon skill doesn't go down? No, it's his ballistic skill. Ah. It's two hits. Two hits. Twos. Twos. And then... Both go through. Both d6. Five. Just what you needed to kill the troop master. Do I get up there? What you call it? Consolidate. Yeah. Towards the nearest enemy unit. Three inches. No, three inches. Oh, three inches. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that in a second then. Well, um, the nearest one's them. Yeah, so just move them three inches towards them, please. Okay, and then you've got two Terminators. <coughs> Paladins. Paladins. Right, so... Who are you hitting, though? Um... Because he can pile in this way, or you can pile in around towards the Shadow Sayer. Shadow Sayer, please. Okay. It's on the... T the that wound's on the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Guy. So, three attacks hitting on twos, because he's the Paragon. So we'll do him first. What, what... As in the, the, sorry, yeah, sorry. but isn't the other guy exactly the same weapons? Yeah, but he's hitting on different. He's hitting on three. Oh, right, right. Paragon hits on twos. They are both going to the Shadow Sea, though. Um, how many ones the Shadow Sea got? Two. No. The other ones are going to go with the troops. Okay. Hitting on twos. Two hits. Two hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, no, you wounded me on fours because it's the Shadow Sea. Four. Nope. D3. Yep. And then threes against the other ones, the um, troops? Yep. Is it, these are troops on there? Yep. Yeah. So that's three hits. What are you wounding on normally? Uh, fours normally. So you wounding on fives because the other shadow sea is there? No, threes, sorry. You wounding on threes normally? Threes, yeah, because you just done three, aren't you? Okay, so the fours three. wound. Yeah. Pass one, fail one, so you just kill one. Which one though? Let's kill a caress. So, morale. You lost three guys. Leadership nine, so. Six. Are they nine, are they? The power gets nine. Ah. So, yeah, six, you would auto pass. Uh, I am leadership eight. I lost two, so even though I rolled a six, I pass. But these guys down here lost three. Uh, so leash eight. If I roll a six, one runs. <sighs> that would be the other one dead if we haven't went back and fell. Yeah, yeah. I feel like 
not chicken and I feel the Eversaw should you have been dead. Run. The Eversaw should have been dead because I should not have filled all them invuns on the charge. He should have been dead because all them shots the fired in Adam should have done a lot more. But it's not. <laughs> well I know that. <laughs> right. What points do I score? I score assassinate and slay the warlord because I killed a character. I don't get area denial and I do get no prisoners because I killed Drago. Yep. One unit. No, no, I killed two units. Because I killed the interceptors. Yep. I was so, so close to killing the Dread Knight and the Eversaw. So basically, I get two points. Puts me at five, six for Slay the Warlord. Yeah. Let's move into turn three. Wow. Okay, so going out turn three, I have drawn Secure Objective 2, Secure Objective 3, and Defend Objective 2. So straight from there, I've done my movement. This Dread Knight from down here moved across. This Dreadnought over here has moved round behind so I can try and kill his Warlord. These Paladins have shuffled up to get some beads on them. The Eversaw has run out behind this Star Weaver? Void Weaver. Void Weaver, yeah. And funnily enough, that's all I have to move because I don't really have a lot left. This game has been absolutely brutal. Yeah. More so to one person than another. Still. Yeah, Tom... I, I, this is a PG show, so I can't even explain what Tom has just done to me that last turn. He's done what cricks do to every wall machine player. Was that a non-games workshop? <sighs> I don't know. Let's pretend that never happened. Barbarian! Right, so, psychic. So, I'm going to try and use Gate of Infinity from this dreadnought here. And it's on a six. And it doesn't go off. I'm oh, there. what's that? You've got no command points to re-roll. Yeah. Oh. Did you stop Do you? Doing that? you, you had nine, didn't you? I think I have four. Do you have any command points left, Harry? No. Oh. I don't care. I killed your librarian with two. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> right. Anyway. First of all, um, how many troops are there? Uh, four. Is that all one squad? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do purge all on the troops. Okay. That's turn five. Yeah. Um, you can deny where you think you can, yeah. Shadow C, yeah. How many can she do? Uh, she can deny one, but she can see as well. Yeah. Yeah, she'll deny. Nope. So, so what does this do? One more wound on a troop. Why? It's mine. You just said that was Purge Soul? It doesn't have Purge Soul, I meant Smite. Purge Soul would be horrible, more horrible for you. Right, so one more wound. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the guy with a caress. Okay, the Paladins are going to put on Hammer Hand. Okay. So your plus one will cancel out my minus one. Yes. Six. Is it six? Yes. She's going to try and stop it. Nope. And the full squad over there is going to use um, Smite okay. on the troops. Yep. Yeah. They are the closest. Five. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it kills one. Yeah. Uh, it'll have to be the guy with the Neurodestructor, I think. Oh, I don't know. No, the Neurodestructor, because I need a bit of firepower at the minute. Right, you're them. So, into my shooting phase. Okay, so this Paladin squad is going to target the Shadows here. Mm -hmm. Apart from the side cannon, which is going to go against the fresh. Um, oh, you're targeting the Star Wave, the Void Weaver? With the side cannon, yes. Ah, okay. So, this is the um, three use of the Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a fair few misses. It is. Now, you'd normally be wounding her on threes because of her own aura, you wound me on fours. Yes. Oh, not too good. Only four wounds. Well, she's not dead. Yes. So she takes two wounds. She's on down to three. Okay, and the side cannon. Yeah. Moved, so hit on fours, fives, because it's uh, the uh, bobbly. Mirage launches. Yeah. Oh, two hits. 
and we have threes I do believe, so one, minus four, so two damage. Two damage. Drops that one to four. This one I can't reach anymore. Nope, so you've got Chuck. Is that his name? That's what Tony calls him. Oh, and then there was, then there was brother of Chuck, then there was son of Chuck. So this is probably uh, zombie, Chuck. zombie Chuck? Uncle of Chuck. Uncle of Chuck. Uncle of Chuck. So what's he doing? He's gonna throw a metal bomb. Can you throw metal bombs? Yes, he can't. Okay. One metal bomb, and I hit on twos. Threes. Threes. Hit it. Yep, strength. Hit. Threes. Oh. Poo. Oh, dips. Diddums. And uh, that's it for my shoot phase, so we might as well move straight into the assault phase. Okay, so I'm guessing he's... Charging is going to charge your shadow slayer. Okay. Uh, oh, pi pardon, sorry. Pistol. Misses. Needed an 11, I think. Um, but e either way, you're not getting it. I know, just for satisfaction. Okay. The ever saw. Uh, okay, so I'm going to overwatch with the shirt and cannons first. One hit. He's only got one wound, hasn't he? Yeah. That's a wound. Oh. Oh, and then I'm going to do the heavy D3. So one shot, and it misses. Okay. Charging in. Oh, look at that idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm guessing the Dreadnought here is charging, yeah? yeah. He's in as well. Yeah. So he's going to be going after your Warlord. Gotta screw him. Okay, so, where are we going first? Um. We'll go over there with the Eversaw first, so I've got eight attacks. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to have a quick look. What's it? Toughness again? Five. Toughness five. I am going to go with. I might as well go with the new one as well. Good. Okay. Doesn't that only wound vehicles on sixes though? Nope. It says plus one strength, minus AP, damage one, we will fail wounds for this one. Ah. Oh. It seems all the it works. That's the poison blades for the. Uh, clue that you're thinking of. Oh, right, okay. So, eight hitting on twos. Okay. And then uh, I'll be wounding you on, so it'll be toughness, five. Toughness, five. Five. So four's we one. Yeah. So what's that, five? Five. I've got four wounds, come on. There's two more. I'll take that. And then the Dread Knight next. He's got four wounds left. I do believe it was three attacks. I think so. Yep, three attacks. Hitting on threes. And this is going against me, Warlord, yeah? Yeah, off we are. Hitting on threes. One hit. Oh dear. What are you one. wounding on? Be twos because it's twelve. It's now down at threes because the shadow's here. Yep. <gasps> Makes a difference, doesn't it? <gasps> Now, because it's your turn, you get to choose the first unit to attack. So it'll be these guys. You might not choose them. Which other one are you going to choose? <laughs> Try that again. You can't? <laughs> Come on. Don't forget these have got hammer handle. So the plus one, minus one negates it. Yeah. Uh, the Paragon is going to go against how many wounds did you shall say you got? Can I ask? Uh, I think it was two. Yeah, it was two. Because okay. I took a Storm Ball and a Psych Hand. Um, the Paragon's gonna go against her, mm -hmm. and the other one is gonna hit. I'm gonna have to hit your troops, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will kill the bike, hopefully. So he's going for the bike? Yeah. Right, so the Paragon at the Shadow Sea. Actually, no, because there's three troops there. I'll go for the troops, sorry. You're going for the troops? Yeah, the troops. So right. Paragon first, hitting on twos. Yeah. So then it'd be wounding you on, it'd be normally threes. Yeah. Minus one plus one. Yeah. The threes. That's three. Two. Which kills her. D3. Yep. Yep. But the aura still works because you resolve all the attacks from the unit good, before yeah. that is removed. So the aura still works whilst you're attacking yep. uh, the troop. Troops. Threes. And then threes again. Mm hmm. Kills one. Hmm. Kill the guy with that. And then the Shadow Sea is gone as well. 
So, I now get to attack back. What are you hitting? Uh, well, I feel like I need to kill the Dread Knight. So you got four wounds, to be fair. He has. But I've got a plan to kill the Dread Knight. Hmm. I'll go with the biker first, see how we do against the Terminators. So, two hits. Uh, failed the wound by reroll because of the troop master. That's two wounds, and I think it was minus one or minus two. I can't remember which one. But it's D3 damage. Ooh, no. no, it's not. It's two damage. Yeah, that's it. I thought it was two. So, yeah, it's minus two for two damage. Bob in one, Bob armor. So, one, so one dies. One's left and one health. Yep. Power gun left. Uh, I'm gonna go with a troop master next because he might kill the dread knight. Okay. So two misses. Wounding on fives because the kid's only strength four. Rerolling. Two wounds and the kiss was. Sure, it was minus one. Yeah, it was. Minus one so for D3, so three up. Three ups. For D3. For two. So we've done two wounds. Which means he's dropped down to his minimum profile now. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I have to kind of kill the Dread Knight now. One Terminator is not that bad, but I really, really. I don't know how to split this. I'm going to chance it. I'm gonna do two, uh, one. He's gonna pile in that way. Yeah. And he's gonna pile that way. Yeah. So the one against the Dread Knight. Threes. And that's a wound at minus one. So three up. For D3. Ooh. Yes! Kills it. I think it can explode. The vehicle doesn't say it can explode though. Uh, we'll double check the rules for that in a no, second. All right, and then the other kiss is going against the uh, just the car guy. Oh, man. Yeah, him. Four's re rolling. Oh, there's three at minus one. Three ups. Two. Two D3. <gasps> Dead. Yeah. Wow, that was unexpected. Question before we go anywhere. Yeah. What do you think of Pardons versus Terminators? They're a lot meatier because of the extra wounds. It depends on what you're fighting. But like I've been telling you for weeks, you need an apothecary. Yeah. Because if you are putting unit a model back into the unit or healing someone that's wounded, that makes you so much more survivable. Do they come back with four wounds if they do? Or just one? I, th I don't know. You'll have to have a look. At I think it's D3. Mm, that's good. Yeah. But anyway, I've still got I've got Void Weaver to attack with. Right, so I'm hitting on fours. Two, strength five, wound on threes. That is one wound, Tom. I would be most gracious if you would fail this. Thank you. Yeah, it does. But now you explode. Yes. And mm. is it just one mortal wound? Yeah, no. Oh, man. Come on, please. <coughs> Bio meltdown. If this model is just as a zero, one's on a D6 for every enemy unit, as in one each. On a four plus, it suffers D3. Okay. So on a four plus, four. it suffers D3. D3. For one. Damn. So I'm still alive. Just. And Uncle Chuck is removed. So Tom, Chunk's up. do you score any points? Do I score any points? To answer your question bluntly, no. Okay. Well, However, I I'm steal. Discard objective two. You can't. Defend objective two. Ah. Okay. So I steal secure objective two and secure objective three from you because there's two, and there's three. Yep. I also score area denial because you've got no models within nine inches of the center. Yep. Ah, I should have scored area denial earlier because it's six inches of the center. However, there's no models within 12 of the center, so I scored D3 for one. You missed the demand. Yep. Plus then two, how many have you got? Uh, so I've got defend objective two, which was two points. <coughs> Area Denial, Assassinate, No Prisoners, and Mission Critical, so uh, 2, Did 4... Did you discard Mission Critical? 
No, that was the 66 one that I discarded. That's the oh, 44. Yes. Plus then two plus Warlord. So hang on. You, now you've confused us. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Warlord is nine. You're one point ahead. I'm still in the end. That's amazing. I, I have no idea how that's even still happening. But I get three fresh cards. Same for my turn. Okay, so Harlequin turn three. We've drew Defend Objective 3, Secure Objective 1, and Advance. Get out of my deployment zone. So, the Void Weavers have all had to move forward. Amazingly, that one's alive on one wound. So, basically, everything at this side is going to attempt to do some damage to these guys, whilst everything else at this side has pushed round to try and take out this Dread Knight. Uh, this biker moved his full distance, objective one is on the other side of the wall, so I will score that. Uh, and then of course defend objective three, I need to hold it for two turns by having more models there than what Tom does. Uh, and advance, well I'm no longer in my deployment zone, so I should have that. Psychic phase however, I've only got one psychic power that's really going to make a difference, um, and that is smite. So let's cast smite at them guys. And I get it on a 7, and Tom doesn't stop it, kills a paladin. I'll take that. Um. Cool. Right. Shoosting phase. Shoosting? He's going to shoot at him. Threes. Fours. Nothing. We're going to have the Void Weaver next, so the Shuriken Cannon's at it. So two misses, looking for fours. Uh, one wound, no AP, Tom. Okay, and then the Prismatic Cannon, I'm gonna do with a single solid shot, which hits, strength eight. Wounds, minus four, five up in run. Yep, why? Two um, Fusion Pistols. One hit, threes, one shirt and pistol, uh, hits, and doesn't wound. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go for all three death jesters. Dread Knight. Dread Knight. Uh, it's three ones, wow. Fours. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. So that's three, uh, five ups, and one two up. Five ups first? Yep. Nope. Yep. And one two up. Yes. Three, so he makes it. So is that just three wounds I've taken off you there? Yeah, so that brings me down nine. Mm, not what I wanted, but never mind. So, next up we're going to have the Shuriken Pistol and then the Neuro Disruptor at the. So the Shuriken Pistol. Doesn't wound, the Neuro Disruptor misses. Then, you know what Tom, I'm just gonna do all of this in one go because both Star Weavers, when I don't chuck my dice around, are gonna be firing into these guys anyway. Okay, okay. So they're both going. This is uh, four Shuriken Cannons. One miss. Couple, nice. of, couple of sixes would be nice. So one, one five up, yep. and then six two ups. Right, so five up first? Yep. Nope. And then that's another part I'm dead. Yep. Then I'm going to use, then I'm going to use the heavy D3 shot. So I get uh, three shots all together. I'm at minus one because they both moved. So one hit, strength six, and it fails to wound. This is risky though. Because I've now left him in the open anyway. So, my troop master's gonna charge. Okie doke. So let's start off with the heavy incinerator. Mm-hmm. Oh. Twos. No. 
Could be one. Is it one over or just double? What do you mean? To wound. What strength are you? Six. Right, I'm toughness three, so it's twos. Yeah. That'd be four wounds, two damage. Drops into one wound. Heavy side cannon. Don't do it. Come on, do it. Oh no! Yeah, that gets him in. And then the troop master, the troop master, the, the uh, troop will follow for a 10, and they're going to make it in as well. I almost want to go in with the bike, but I don't because if I. If I don't kill him, I then don't score the objective, which I, in fact I wouldn't anyway. Right, so Troop Master is going to go first with the kiss. One miss. Fives. Re rolling. So that's three. And do you know what? You might as well hang fire two minutes because I'll do the Harlequin Troop with them because it's all the same profile. Okay. So five's re-rolling. Okay, so that's four minus one. Please. Takes two. D three. Oh, six. So he's done three. Oh, so close. He's on the bottom profile. Yeah. But now you're gonna swing at me, warlord, aren't you? Yes. How are we then? Threes, two hits, twos, two wounds. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, I secure objective one and I advance for two more points. Well, that was my turn, eh? Here's a Green Knight turn four. I've drawn advance, which the Dread Knight's blocking unless he dies in combat. Secure objective six, which I'm nowhere near. And priority orders, secure objective two. Can you steal that? I don't know. Or did it have to be done with your warlord? Well, you have to get that with your lord to score it, but it's still there, so technically I think But it does say, um, this objective does not count towards the number of active tactical, oh yeah, it's not, well, it's not active, so. That one doesn't count towards no. the active ones. When this tactical generate, immediately generate a bonus tactical objective. Which is that. Yeah, this does not count. No, this objective. does not count. That's silly. Because you, that's what you have to do, but that senior warlord has to do it to get the extra points. Mm. I don't like that card, I've drawn it loads of times, it's, and I don't yeah. like it. We'll see when it comes to it anyway. Right, but it's saying that, that, that this one doesn't count, right? Does it say that one? Because it's saying the bonus, because the last one it mentions the bonus one, and then it immediately says afterwards, this one does not this count. This one? I'll say, this does not count. Yeah, this. This one does not count towards your total number of active cards. But just... Eh. I, after a bit of debate, we've decided, yes, you can say that. However, I don't like that card. Harry doesn't like that card. It, it, it came up in a game previously uh, with Martin when, he, when I was playing Space Wolves, right? And he drew Hold the Line. Now, for Hold the Line, you need three of your own units in your deployment zone. But only your Warlord can get it. But only your Warlord can get it. So how does that work? Yeah, anyway. Let's move on to my very, very, very short turn. I've had an idea. Really? Yeah. He's going to pass cast uh, Smite on your troop master. He's going to get um, Yeah, that would work. Goes up to five. I can't stop it. So, because everyone's in base to base, you choose. Troop master. So you get to play the warlord. Yay. Good show, that actually. I've also got a funny feeling that he's not going to die now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> and you move these guys up here. Yeah, and they're going to cast Smite on. It'll have to be that. Is that the closest? Probably. So that's six and a quarter. That's, that's six. six, so it'll be that actually. Yep. Yeah. Um, game for that. So on a five close. That's it. You can deny with your thingy though, can you? Can deny with him, shall I say yes? Nope. Takes a lot of wounds. So Does it explode? Nope. So that one's gone as well. Ooh. Handy. It's a shooting phase. 
Yeah, might as well have a quick think. Okay, so eight storm bolt shots at the troop, and then the side cannon is going for uh, the void weaver. Yeah. So uh, storm bolts. Yeah. Hit on three. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the wound thing, isn't it? Yep. So that's them. And then it'll be four to wound because of the shadows here. Because it would normally be threes. Yeah. Yeah. So then three. You need to stop chucking your dice all out. Uh, kills her. Awesome. Side cannon hitting on five. Because you moved and then you're at minus one because of the mirage launcher. Yep, one. Yep. And then it would be a four to wound because. No, that the shadow sea is only affects infantry. Ah, oh, no, I guess it's a three. Okay. Doesn't do well. Okay. And then that's it for shooting. Um, combat. Yep. The terminators will charge the shadow sea. Okay, now. Because of the way this works, okay, you might have to be very careful because you can't be within an inch of this unless you declare a charge against both of them. Well, charge both of them. Okay, so the Shadow Sea is Shuriken Pistol. Misses. And then we'll have six shots from the Shuriken Cannons. Uh, one hit. One wound, no AP. Takes a wound. And then I'll use the... I'm going to use the Heavy D3. So one shot, which misses. So charge distance, to make it in, it's nine and a half inches, so you need a nine. All right. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, that's a seven. Just out. So because it's your turn, you get to attack first down here. With my two attacks? Yep. Hopefully you get a squash two holograms. <laughs> See, the problem is you've killed me troop master now, so it makes it easy. <laughs> Tommy, oh. chucking your dice everywhere again. I noticed. Oh, look, I found a dice on the floor. Is that yours? Uh, no, that's yours. Oh, that's mine. Right. Hitting you on threes. One. Yep. 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 So I'll attack back. No. Yes. Oh, that's a, oh, not no. <laughs> so I hit on threes. That's not great. A wound on fives, but I've now got no re-rolls. One. Minus one. D3. Yeah! Oh, it's dead. Yep. That's good. Oh, because now you actually score advance. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> it's just to annoy you, I'm going to discard that one. You can't discard secure objective I'm two, Tom. I'm discarding that card. Yes, but you can't discard objective two. If there's tactical objective discarded, the bonus is, is uh, they're discarded too. But you cannot discard secure objective two because we're playing spoils of war. We're playing spoils of war. You cannot discard secure objective two. I'm not discarding that one. Which is fine, but you can't discard secure objective two. You can't discard it, Tom. <laughs> right. I'm gonna give it a six. Then. Oh no, cards. It's fucking thing. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna discard one. Unless of the language, young man. Beep. You scored advance. Yeah, scored advance. So that puts us on 10. Just kill the warlord. Yeah, now unfortunately I don't steal objective 2 because I'm just a little bit away from it. Uh, and I don't steal objective 6 from it because again it's over there. I wonder what you're doing this time. Well, I need to defend objective 3 and actually I score it now. Because yeah. it's 2 turns. Because it's 2 turns, so I scored 2 more points for that. So, yeah, Harlequin's turn four. Okay, so Harlequin turn four. We've got secure objective six, which Tom also has, so I can steal that from him as well. I've got secure objective five, which I'm right near, and supremacy. Tom's also got secure objective two. So, these guys are on objective five. He's moved over to objective six, which will get me two from that. Uh, secure objective two, which I'll steal from Tom, and then supremacy. So I'm getting four plus D3 minimum this turn. Yeah. Unless it all goes horribly wrong. It still could. So... Oh, yeah. This is Harry with the Harlequin of yeah. today. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the Shadow Seer is going to cast Smite and probably kill herself. <laughs> she gets it off on a five. <laughs> she, she, get, she gets it off on a five. Can you stop it? Yes, yes, she can. Of course she can. So this Void Weaver didn't move. Okay. So... Uh, shirt and cannons into that. So two misses, looking for threes. So two, no AP. 
Fine, and then I'm going to use the heavy D3. So I get two shots. One hit, strength six. That's a wound at minus two. Okay. It's D3 damage. For three, but there's one guy on two wounds. Yeah, kills him. And then the other one is going to do exactly the same. But this time I'm going to do the heavy D3 first. For one, it hits, threes, it wounds, it's minus two, it makes it. So then the shirt and cannons. Uh, so that's one at minus three, which you feel, so that's one wound. So that cannon guy, mm -hmm. I won't keep the power gone, alive. Uh, the two death jesters will now shoot. Uh, one miss, threes, uh, so there's one two up, which you pass, yep. and then two at minus three, so two five ups. One. So it drops that guy down another wound, and I need to check the hallucinogen grenade launcher's range. And the hallucinogen grenade launcher's range is 18, so I hit, I roll 2d6. I get a nine, your leadership nine, aren't you? <clears throat> yeah. I think it does one mortal wound because I'm equal to, but I will double check. So is it equal to or greater than? Rolling the nine, Tom is leadership nine, so it's D3 mortal wounds for one. Kills the one guy. No. Uh, how many did I kill there? Was it just two? <clears throat> yes. So you'd automatically pass your morale. I'm not gonna charge. Uh, so I score secure objective six twice. I score secure objective five. I score secure objective two from Tom and supremacy for two points. What do I know? I, I don't know. Let's add it up. Right, so Tom's drew secure objective one, defend objective three, and defend objective one. Where, where is number one? Oh, it's down there. So um, I, I can't even steal it like this turn for you. I, I would have gladly took it for you. He's going for her. He's going for her. He's going for her. Can't target it with a storm bolt though. I don't care. Dun, 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 dun. How far is it? Just one over later on. Eight. Well, uh, it was seven and a half, so you need seven. Seven. Because it's not like where you need oh, to be within an inch, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, right. So it, it actually essentially gives you an extra inch over where it was. So storm bolt at the void weaver. Kill it. It's got four wounds. Yeah. <laughs> well, not with that shot, you're not. I can maybe kill it. One. Did a wound. Oh. Uh, it's on two now. No, it's on three. So charge distance. Yep. Pistol. No. Yes. Eight. You make it. Yes. How many attacks? Three. Yes. Hit on twos. Actually, it's worth noting as well. I I've done that wrong. We should have placed it there. No, I didn't do it like first round. Could you do it? Yeah, go for it. What are we going to do? Smite. No hammer hand. Oh yeah, go for it then. Doesn't go off anywhere. Right. So two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, we won you on the force because you. Plus one minus one. No, no. Cause minus one because you didn't get the plus one off. Two wounds. Damn! I now get. No. To, I now get to attack back. Uh, I hit. I wound three times at minus one. <laughs> Three's. Two. Two D3. Ooh, he's dead. Three wounds, and that is a tabling. Damn. You know it blows up and hits everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm utterly gobsmacked that it flipped round on those last three turns like that. Yeah, yeah. I I was so, so demoralised going through them middle two turns. <laughs> He's dead. Oh. <laughs> so, Harlequins, Tom. Um, I actually really enjoy that game. It's quite the tail then. Um, very, very tactical with the buffs, isn't it? Are a lot better mm -hmm. in this edition. Yep. Very powerful. I feel the grenades aren't as much because of the lack of force. I mean, you are getting the D3, but obviously you can't instantly that. Only instantly say death gone. That was a massive thing for us. But I suppose Smite sort of like. Mm -hmm. Whatever as, yeah, the, as Phil says, you need an apothecary. Yeah, I just haven't pulled my finger up and painted anything yet. You so also haven't painted Celestine. Okay, yes, I haven't painted Celestine. I haven't <laughs> painted, finished painting the... Hector Rex. 
Yeah. Custodes. Yeah. Tempestus. Tempestus are gone. Oh. Cancel project. Um, Xiphon. Um, oh, again, a Xiphon in your list would actually probably be really good. Baldy's nearly done. Baldy? Because of the baldiness. He's all oh, uh, but his face. No, no. Rex isn't bald. Cordias. Cordias He's not as good now. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, back to this. Yeah. Like what would you change in your list if you were to play that again? Um, with stuff I haven't got, or? Yeah, yeah, if you were just to, to replace stuff in um, that list. Interceptors, I don't feel are anywhere near as good as what they used to be. Um, I do think I will be phasing them out a bit more. Terminators. Um, definitely want the Xiphon in, because that's horrible. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Probably just try these apotheories out as well. A, a what? An apothecary. 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 However, yes. Liberminum. Hey, hey! It is funny when someone messes up. Phil's not salty at all. Anyway, can you test that? Ooh. Salt. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, unit of the game for you on your army. What was your unit of the game? Got a drill when it's just because of the rewards for the Overwatch there. What, not the ever saw when he shot down the solitaire that he came hurling in at him? No, because I was expecting to blow up and die. No, 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 no. You, you do who had that, the command point shenanigans. Oh, God, that was horrendous. <laughs> right, did... What do you think was my unit of the game? Because Drago kind of like held them off, off in the middle there with a lot of auto one shot. Mm. The amount of sixes I was able to read all there. Yeah. Uh, unit of the game for me. Probably the Shadow Seer at this side, she basically held this flank. Yeah. Uh, the Troop Master did well, he, he stormed across the board and... I was going to say it would be Troop Master for me because of all the rerolls that he was getting, giving out of people in the middle there. Was he nice. would ne like, I would never have killed a Dread Knight without them rerolls. Exactly. I mean, I got lucky with that last one in, in, in turn 4 or 5 there. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say the Troop Master. Uh, people don't rate Kisses, they say they're too expensive because they're only strength 4. Yes, they're only strength 4, but if you're re-rolling, it's at minus 1 and then you're doing D3 damage. Yeah. I, I, I rate kisses. E Strange enough, right? A, a Harlequin, I think, is 17 points. A kiss is 14. So you're doubling the point of the Harlequin then, and that's without you changing your pistol. So they're very, very expensive. But uh, I enjoyed playing them, apart from turn 2, when nothing went my way for, for shooting. <laughs> it, it was abysmal. And I don't like the Kalidus. At all. Is it just because of the, the turn one stuff? Yeah, the, the amount of reroll, uh, the amount of command points that she caused us to spend. I think she's only like 80 points as well now. The assassins are really, really good. I'm going to get some more, I think, because um, well, you went and probably think about disappearing because I really want half six ever sauce. <laughs> I think, what is this? What is this? 60 points each? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like um, that. For what they do, I mean, 8 attacks on the charge, minus 1, 1 damage. They're picking on 2s and all this other stuff. I mean, and bear in mind, you can get within 9 inches and you reliably get in combat turn 1. 3 dice. Just the 3 dice. Yeah. Imagine just having your front line there and then just having your front line gone for 6 of them have came in and just yeah. units. Yeah. Against units. Yeah, really good against units. 8 attacks. Nah, we'll see. Anyway, the cards. What do you think about scoring the cards in your opponent's turn? Um, it makes sense for some of them. Apart from number 66. Yeah. I don't like that card at all. Phil doesn't like that card. Yeah, I don't I'm like it. It's all right. So, oh, yeah. I don't like that card either. I don't like it. You've already heard my feelings, <laughs> You've already heard my feelings on the matter. So that is it. That is the end of another battle report. I hope it's looked a little bit nicer for you with the backdrops that I've created. Uh, so massive shout out to the lads that made a donation to the channel for that. Uh, if you would like to donate to help improve the quality of the battle report, uh, the link can be found in the description. Tom, it's been nice having the grey lights back. Yeah, hopefully we'll be back on again soon. With more models. Yeah, Please. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> right, until then folks, see you next time.